Let's talk about how governments change the value of their currency and interest rates by changing the supply of money. And as always, I'm gonna use real world examples uh, to make the learning progress more better uh, as my youngest son says, says. So we know that the biggest problem for us holding traditional uh, paper money uh, is that we have no control over the supply of that money. Now, here's how governments change interest rates and hence how governments control the supply of money. And it, it's important that we understand this before discussing uh, cryptocurrency supply metrics uh, in our investment frameworks or any type of investment uh, for that matter, okay? Uh, because what happens is when government change uh, interest rates, it affects every other asset classes. Why? Because if interest rates all of a sudden are very, 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 very high, then people might say, you know what? I'm just gonna put my money in the bank because I'm gonna make more money because interest rates are high and I'm not gonna buy stocks because the return on stocks might be low, but I know for a fact I'm getting a high return on my money in the bank because interest rates are high. And I'm probably not gonna buy real estate either because I can make more money by leaving that in the bank, that sort of thing. Okay, so when interest rates go up a lot, you have to understand that the value of other asset classes go down, go down, okay? And, and sometimes governments do that on purpose as well. They make interest rates high uh, to try to slow down the economy, right? And they have noble intentions. They, they do it because um, of, of rapid inflation. Uh, and, and I'll talk more about that soon. So uh, governments spend a lot of money uh, on building bridges and other stuff. Where do you think they get that money from? It's not just taxes because taxes are not enough money for governments. Uh, it, governments need to raise money to spend money on stuff. And for the most part, governments not run like a business, nor should they be, okay? Uh, but uh, taxes aren't enough. They, they need to raise more money to pay for uh, bridges and God forbid wars and all, all that stuff. In my hands, I'm holding a, a savings bond uh, from October of 1944. It's United States savings bond. I'll put it down here so you can, you can see it a little bit better. Let me just get rid of some of this real estate here. Yeah. So in October of 1944, okay, as you can see there, the US government had no idea how long World War II was gonna last. So what they had to do is they had to raise money to pay for World War II supplies. And they did so by selling debt, okay? By, by selling bonds like this one here. What the US government did was they said, hey, if you buy this bond today, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna charge you $18.75 for this bond if you buy it today in 1944, okay? And then in 10 years, I'm gonna buy it back from you at a price of 25 bucks. Uh, and so this bond here is is actually sold at what's called a discount. Okay, that's why they call them discount bonds. You don't have to hold it for 10 years. You can hold it for fewer than 10 years and sell it back uh, and make a, a, a profit that's less than uh, selling it for 25 bucks. Okay. Let's say that right now you and I walk into a grocery store and we notice that avocados usually cost a buck. Okay, I'm making these numbers up but we see that they're now selling for $4 each. That's, that's just crazy talk. That's a lot of money for an avocado. Uh, and so you and I go up to the store manager and we say, hey, what happened, man? Like, why is avocados more expensive now? And the store manager says, oh, there's just less supply of it now because there was a drought in, in Mexico where, where, I, where this came from, for example. Uh, and as a result, uh, there's just fewer avocados now and people want to buy their avocados. You know, they, 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 they want to dip their tortillas in them, uh, guacamole. Uh, and so there's fewer avocados uh, and therefore the price of avocados is, is up. And you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That store manager we just talked to is kind of like the person in the economy that manages the supply of money out there, right? Like the Federal Reserve chairperson or the ECB, meaning the head of the European Central Bank, or the Minister of Finance in, in whatever country you might be based in. Okay, so let me put that aside now. The same thing happens with the supply of money, okay? Since there's now $100 million less of US dollars in circulation, I just took it out of circulation, I hit it by my back, it's gone. Then just like the price of avocados, when the supply decreases, the price of money goes up, meaning interest rates. Okay, let's build on this. Okay, so 1944, you all bought that. Okay, so 10 years later, okay? 10 years later, you're gonna sell, remember you bought this for $18.75? You're gonna, you're gonna sell this bond 
back to me. I'm the U.S. government, okay? Uh, and instead of me giving you $18.75 back, I'm going to give you $25 back, okay? So you, you get um, money back, okay? So all of a sudden, whoa, what happened? There's more money out there because I bought it back from you. I gave you money. We know the price goes down a lot for money. And this is important to understand when it comes to all investment classes, uh, especially bonds, okay? And that what we just did was a bond transaction. Okay, a bond is basically just a government saying, hey, I need to borrow money. Uh, I, I don't want to call it a loan. I'll call it a bond. It's the same thing. Um, I, I promise you I'll give the money back to you because I have a certificate here on this bond or I have a, a contract here in this bond and, and that sort of thing, okay? Okay. And now you understand why it's called discount bonds, okay? And I know some of you uh, in your minds are thinking, Okay, Chris, I get it why it's all a discount, but what about like coupon bonds and stuff? Oh, Chris, is there was there a coupon with this? No, no, there's no coupons involved with this discount bond. This is a zero coupon bond. There's zero coupons. Forget about that. This is a discount bond. We'll come back to that.